We are here with a new Let's Play. This is a special game I thought I'd try out. This is Yu-Gi-Oh! Duels of Legacy. It came out in December 6th, 2016 and I've been meaning to try it since then. So, here I am now trying it for the first time with you guys. So, just straight on with the campaign. And there are campaigns for each of the TV series. So you have the original series, we have GX, F5Ds, Zexal, and Arc V. I have... oh, Arc 5. I haven't actually seen Arc 5. Or Arc V. So I don't know what that's going to be about. But I have seen all the other four. Um, actually every episode of the other four. Um, I can only expect these to be the first season. Not expecting like all four seasons of the original series. So the first one I can only expect being Dawnless Kingdom. GX being the first year. Five Deans being the um, the league that Goodwin started to find out who the other signers were. And Sexual being the appearance of number cards. So, but anyway, we're going to go kick in straight with the original series. Dawn's Kingdom, there we have it. And there appears to be quite a few of us. But, yeah, it's Dawn's Kingdom. The story of Yugi Moto begins at Domino High School, where Dawn Monsters, the hottest card game in the world, was all the rage. Yugi was the best duelist around, and his friend Joey wanted desperately to learn how to duel as well. So, our story of Yugi Moto starts with Yugi teaching the rules of Dawn Monsters to Joey, as their friend Taya and Tristan watch. Hey Joey, Earth Joey, it's your turn. Huh? Ah, isn't he cute when he's thinking? Hey Tristan, Yugi here is teaching me how to play Dawn Monsters. Drawing monsters. Do monsters, you Nimrod. They've been at it for hours. Joe is starting to get a hang of the game, but Yugi's like an expert. Okay, Yugi, it's time to do. Okay, so it looks like it's starting to do. Yeah. Whoa, what a s stirring intro. INFNA sure. Can spin a tail, okay. Greetings, duelist. I am N I N four M eight, part of the virtual game simulator. I have been programmed to teach you proper dueling rules and best practices. So let's get started and walk you through the basics. In this scenario, you will be taking the role of the legendary Yugi Moto, facing off against not quite a legendary Joey Joey Wheeler. Okay. Stammer phase, ring phase. First, let's learn how to summon a monster. Monsters are summoned into the monster card zone. Monsters can be summoned in attack mode or set to the monster card zone in defense mode. A monster in attack can be placed vertically, and a monster in defense mode is placed vertically and facing down. Okay. So let's set the dragon dwelling in the cave. Okay. Let's open up the phase menu and set the in-phase. Um, Blazing and Packy. Impachi. Okay. 
sure. Okay. Congratulations, she survived the first attack. You might have noticed that Joey attacked you and wound up hurting himself. Let me explain what happened. When a monster attacks a defense position monster, the attacker's attack value is compared to the defender's defense value. If the attacking monster has lower value, the monster's owner takes damage equal to the difference. If the monster was greater, the defense monster is destroyed. Next, we will play a spell and trap card. These cards can be played in the spell and trap card zone. Green spell cards can be played right away, but most can only be played during the main phase one or two. You can also set it and activate it later. Okay, so let's activate Banner of Courage. Pink trap cards can, act, can be activated on your turn and during your opponent's turn, but must be set face down on the field first. Cannot be activated. You cannot activate a trap card at the same time that you set it, but you can activate it any time after the start of the opponent's next turn. Okay. Now let you get you ready to attack. Switch. That would be a bad decision. Hey, that's... Okay. That's a... Uh, Nichen dog. Right. Set up for the attack. And... Get Nich... Nichen dog. Okay. If an opponent does not have any monsters, the opponent can do a direct attack. So, that direct attack. Okay, so now we end our turn. Okay, there's a set of monster. Um, okay. Joey does stand a chance. Let's clean his clock. On this turn, we will summon another monster. Up until now, we only have monsters level 4 or below. In order to summon a monster that has level 5 and 6, you must tribute one monster. Sending a monster on your side of the field to the graveyard to summon a high level monster is called a tribute summon. Okay, Gravity Crash Dragon. Yes, on tribute. It's telling us which one to tribute. There we have it. Oh, if you read the card's description on the left there, you can see Gravity Crush Dragon has an effect you can trigger. Okay. So now we have to use this ability. And it's a pen of courage and try the face down monster. Now let's chain the effect, call of the haunted, and bring back any chin dog. Okay. Okay, saying yes, yes. Okay. This is activate rush recklessly and do it to grab a crash dragon. Okay. Now we're ready to attack. Battle phase. So let's work our way up. From the last attack from creature to the highest. Joey isn't going to be happy about this. One more attack and we'll totally wipe him out. So, with that, I win. What? A card that powerful totally wipes me out. Whoa. You stink at this game, Joey. You did fine, Joey. I just have better cards. My grandpa owns a game shop and I can get all my best cards from him. You own a game shop? What are we waiting for? Let's go! Okay, maybe I can even get my grandpa to show you, show us the super rare card he's got. Little did they know that someone was listening in on their conversation. Someone who was looking for a very rare card to add to his collection. Okay, so we've just got two achievements there. We've just got new campaign unlocked. 
new deck avatar unlocked, new deck description unlocked, signature card, card reward, card reward, and points. Right. The heart of the cards. That afternoon, Yugi and his friends went to Grandpa's game shop. Yugi wanted to show his friends his grandpa's prized possession. Gramps, could you show my friends your awesome super rare card? Rare card? You mean my special card? Hmm. Please, please. Haha, <laughs> how could I refuse? You kids are in for a treat. I don't take this card too often. Ready? Here it is, the blue eyes white dragon. So rare, so powerful, I'd never let it leave my hands. This card is priceless. There's only four of them in the world. Suddenly, a classmate from school ran in a shop. His name was Seto Kaiba, the young CEO of Kaiba Corp. He had found the card he was looking for. Name your price for that blue eyes. I can pay anything you ask. I'm sure you could, but this card is worth more to me than you could ever offer. Senile old fool. Kaiba stormed out of the grandpa's store. The team was disturbed by Kaiba's obsession with Blue Eyes White Dragon. The next day when Yuki came back to the store with his friends, he found Grandpa was gone. When the phone rang, it was Kaiba on the other end, mocking Yugi that he kidnapped his grandpa grandfather and took him to Kaiba Corp. Yugi and his friends rushed to Kaiba Corp and found Grandpa laying on the floor defeated. Grandpa, are you okay? Yugi, I failed. I wanted to teach that boy Kaiba a lesson about the heart of the cards, but I lost. Grandpa. How's the old man feeling, huh? Kaiba, you sleaze. What have you done to him? We had a duel, that's all. With each of us putting up our most valuable card as a prize. But I guess playing with against a champion like myself was just too much simulation for the old fool. Kaiba, you should be ashamed of yourself. Look at the sweet prize I won. Kaiba held up Grandpa's blue eyes white dragon and ripped it in heart. Grandpa's most treasured card. Blue eyes white dragon is a rare and powerful card and this one will never be used against me. My blue eyes white dragon, my treasure. Grandpa, hold on. How could you do such a thing? Yugi, take this. Huh? Grandpa? I built this deck. I put my soul in these cards. And I taught you everything I know, Yugi. Take my cards and teach Kaiba respect for the heart of the cards. Okay, Grandpa. I'll do it. Are you ready to play, Runt? Playtime is over, Kaiba. Huh? Kaiba was taken back by Yuki's sudden transformation. It seemed like he had become a different person, as if he was more confident and powerful than before. Kaiba, prepare yourself, because it's time to duel. Let's just use the story deck. Because I haven't actually gotten around to doing my user deck and... Let's do paper. Okay, so I'll lose that. So I'm going second. Yeah. Time to begin. Hmm. Battle Not too bad to be strong. This might actually be a challenge. Giant Soldier of Stone set, and then I'll end my turn. Ah, uh, damn it! I wasn't expecting that. Okay, so substitute that. 
one thing I'm worried about are the two cards face down. I shouldn't be concerned with that. So, I'm going to tribute Simon and bring out Simon Scar. And then let's attack. I thought as much. is Judge Man. See, I was expecting a trap. I just had to fall into it though. Otherwise I'd be forever waiting. Hmm. Pot of Greed might give me the two cards I need. There's one. Hmm. Let's see. Giant Sardra Stone set. Let's see if we can bait him into attacking us again. No? Let's see again. Drunk Drop. Okay. Is that to hit hard with the underdogs? We can get more cards that way. We build our defense line. Then we have a solid defense and we still have room for an attacking force. Okay. Activate it. We feel it. This might be what we're looking for. So we summon our horn dim. Let's flip summon Giant Soldier of Stone and activate Rikage, Rikage. and attack Horned Imp, Gate attack. Damn it. Okay, so let's see. Fake through by special ability. Dogs again, and in my turn, initially it's blue eyes, white dragon, open for a direct assault. Yes, let's activate harsh the other dog. And then activate the other one. Okay. One moment. Okay. So, let's activate it again. And again. So, we shall see just how many cards we can collect using this chain. Facing sword through revealing light, he can't attack for three turns. That should hold us enough. Uh, let's not activate that yet. 
Revise wall. Use that for less spell trap card signs. No. No. Nope. That may become a better save. Wait, activate the combo attack to once. Can't attack or change position. Okay. We're getting nowhere. Okay. So let's activate Heart of the Underdog. Let's see if we can get the other two pieces we need. Fair Imp Silver Thing. I'm gonna activate it. Now let's see. Fair Imp again on defensive. Because nothing can stop the wise white dragon. Okay. Can Kuanto with. Magani. Okay. Let's see if this used to me. gets us any closer. No. 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 Right, let's activate it again. I believe we've reached our hand limit and we're quite literally running out of cards. Yes, we got one other piece. But having one, two, three, four, five, six, we have too many cards. Right. Right. Let's tribute Feral Imp and Griffor for Guy the Fist. Right. Okay. Now, let's get Gaia. Another negated sack. We're not going to be able to get through to the fear monster. Although, it's a sky to guard. Sanjin. Um, winged dragon. Fang. And Celtic Guardian. And Sanjin. Beef Warrior. Although Beef Warrior is the icon of my very first deck. Okay, there's Sorcerer of Light. Getting stronger. Right. We draw one monster. We, draw. we only need one more. From what I see, Summon Skull. I forgot Summon Skull was in our graveyard. Control of his monster, then we can begin all out attack. So we may not have to run away. That may have been a bad move though. So we may not have to rely on Exodia. Summon Skull can do a direct attack. Giant Soldier of Stone can do a direct attack. Mystical Elf can do a direct attack. He's almost to half his health. 
Blue Eyes cannot attack because of the trap card we've equipped it onto. Okay, so right, we're gonna attack. So it's not gonna be. Oh, it's not gonna be enough to defeat them. Actually, it will be. So we have blue eyes. We didn't need Exodia after all. You play only for power, Kaiba. That is why you lost. But if you put your heart in the cards, there's nothing you can't do. The result of the doors broke quickly, and a mysterious one-eyed man gets news of Yugi's victory. Hmm. It seems Kaiba Boy has been defeated in a duel. I must learn about this Yugi Moto. Okay, so new duel. Heart of the cards. No duelist. New deck. Booster pack. Signature card. New card reward. New card reward. And duel points. Okay. So, let's go on to the next. Right, reverse duel. Right, okay. So, that's an option, but we're not going to do that. We're going to move on to the ultimate Great Moth in the next part. I hope you've enjoyed this part. Um, if you did, leave a like, leave a comment, and stay tuned for another episode. And I hope you enjoyed this new Let's Play. So, see you in the next part. Bye guys.